Hey, sup, Joey boy. Long time no see, man. Enjoyed your little vacation, homie. Little vacation, my ass, man. You know my PC got busted. That's why I was out for so long. Yeah, that was very unlucky. You knew it was coming, though. It was an old PC. I don't think six years is that old for a PC, but yeah, I hear you. Anyhow, I got a new one, and now I'm ready to roll. Glad to hear that, homie. Are you happy to be back? Can't say I'm not, man. I've low-key missed this, not gonna lie. Well, then let me tell you, you ain't gonna be happy for too long. This chapter is ass. Wait, what? Really? Yeah, homie, I gave it a whirl while you were away, and man, this thing is frustrating. Even I lost my temper at this one. I'll keep it a buck, would you? Bro, you know there's something wrong when even Obama loses his temper. Damn, dude, what's so wrong with it? I want you to see it for yourself first. You'll soon realize how stupid it is. Well, alrighty then. I don't see anything outlandish so far, homie. Wait till the reinforcements come, then you'll see the outlandish shit. Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot that this mode has some wacky reinforcements, that's true. Bro's been away for so long that he even forgot how the game works. It's been more than a month, man. Of course I'd forget this mode stuff. No wonder, given your, uh, condition. Fuck you, Donald. I'm as healthy as I could be. It's not what the doctor said. Fucking asshole. Oh, yeah, it's good to be back, man. Anyways, can you at least give me an idea of what'll happen in this chapter, Obama? Nope. I want you to experience it fully at least once. Come on, man. At least give me a welcome back tip. Nope. It'll be a unique experience. Trust me. Wow, what nice friends I have. Maybe I should have extended my vacation for eternity, huh? What a drama queen. Nah, this title has been bestowed upon you already. Thank you, though. It's not an exclusive title, you know. More than one person can have it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just you wait, Obama. It'll be bestowed upon you as well, eventually. I'm legit curious to see what's so frustrating in this chapter, not gonna lie. Me too. It seems pretty standard so far. I mean, it has a slightly excessive amount of nomads from what I can see, but nothing so insane. Yeah, this nomad spam is pretty obnoxious, but seems manageable. You gentlemen underestimate the damage reinforcements can deal too much. Come on, man, just tell me what'll happen. Don't make me replay this just for fun. Yep, that's exactly what I'll do. Bro, this chapter's so fucked up that it rendered Obama evil. Yeah, man, I'm legit scared of this shit now. Well, it doesn't seem to be a big one, so you won't be wasting too much time if shit goes awry, if that serves as comfort to you. Yeah, it seems pretty straightforward. Get the chest, pickpocket the right guys, kill the rest, and bam, done. Maybe that's it. A thief will come by and snatch the shit out of you. Is that it, Obama? Is this chapter shit because of a thief? I ain't telling nothing. Nah, that's gotta be it. These chapters usually suck balls because of time constraints like these. You gotta rush real hard to catch a thief or some brigand who'll raid a village or a chest. Yeah, it'll be either that or some space marine reinforcements who'll just wipe the entire team. At least we know it's one thing, though. It is some stupid reinforcement that'll fuck everything up. You guys do remember that you recruit Raven in this chapter, right? And that you gotta save all three green units in order to get a special reward? Ow, fuck! This is the infamous green unit chapter, right? Yep, it's this one. Yeah, that changes everything. You're lucky you brought Priscilla instead of Sarah this time. Yeah, well, I intend to use both, but Priscilla is way too underleveled for now, so I'll be bringing her instead of Sarah for a while, at least till she catches up with the rest of the team. At least one thing's clear now. You're gonna have to rush real hard to catch those three guys alive. Yeah, that's 100% true. Nice level, Lowen, you stupid bitch. Lowen's being a massive disappointment in this playthrough. I don't recall him ever getting a good level, actually. Yeah, man, me neither. Honestly, he's only being useful because he's Rebecca's husband, though. He'd be trashed here otherwise. Yeah, man, well, at least everything's going well, right? No, it's not. Huh? This chapter's already lost. The fuck? What do you mean? I meant what I said. The chapter's lost. You should just restart. But why? I don't get it. You haven't noticed it, have you? Noticed what, man? Just speak up. Stop being so cryptic. Look up. Look up? You mean Raven? He's fine. Well within reach, actually. I'm pretty sure we got him. I don't see him as a problem at all. No, I didn't mean Raven. There's something else you haven't noticed yet. Then tell me what I'm not seeing, man. I won't know unless you tell me what it is. You'll soon find out. Trust me. Bro, this is actually some fucked up shit. This chapter legit turned Obama into a villain. Yeah, man. He's acting all cryptic and shit now. This thing actually corrupted his soul, man. Nah, it's nothing like that. 
It's just that you guys wouldn't understand this chapter's shittiness to its fullest extent if I told you what it is. Bro, I truly wonder what it could be then. Wait, is it this thief right here? Yep, that thief right there. Damn, I called it from the start. I'm a clairvoyant. What's so bad about it? I see nothing special with it. You know, there are two chests on the top left, right? Well, yeah, and he'll probably get there before me. I see nothing wrong with it, though. I can just lock him in there till I can actually get rid of him. It's no big deal. I don't think so, because those archers in his room will fuck you up real good. Bows got buffed here, remember? But even if you did get there in time without dying, you'd still lose. Why? Because now you're too late to catch the other thief that spawns in this map. Other thief? Where will he spawn at? In the same spot. How can this other thief be a problem if I'm possibly capable of dealing with this one who has already spawned? Because he spawns with a valuable item instead of a lockpick, meaning he'll spawn and immediately bolt north, thus denying you said item. Ooh, I see. Oh wow, that's actually straight up bullshit. Man, I'm telling you, this chapter, it's something else. I mean, I'll give this try a proper shot till I see it's completely out of reach. Who knows, maybe I'm lucky. Nah, it's over. You have absolutely 0% chance of catching the other thief, no matter how good your RNG is. You literally have to move Marcus the max amount of tiles at all times to have a chance of catching that other motherfucker. Damn, this is actually insane. Maybe it's meant to deny you that item? This doesn't seem feasible at all, to be completely honest. It is possible in theory. You just have to play it perfectly and with insane RNG, that's all. Huh, that's all. I'm telling you, homie, forfeit this failed try, or you can choose to forfeit those items. Both are very valid options in this forsaken chapter. Nah, I'll push onwards. It'll be useful to know how far this failed attempt will go in order to make adjustments for the next one. Suit yourself, homie. So far, so good. This is pretty much the only part that can go awry anyways. You'll be fine if you live through it. Without the items, of course. Yeah, he won't be fine at all then. Oh my fucking god, man. I can't believe that motherfucker actually managed to double a brigand, man. I mean, Bot isn't the fastest brigand around, but yeah, those nomads suck. And that try wasn't going to get anywhere from what Obama told us. Perhaps that was for the best. Yeah, sure, but I wanted to extend it just a bit further so that I could know what else to expect. I'm curious, though. How'd you do it, Obama? Very simple, actually. I just forfeited those stupid items and allowed those petty thieves to move on with their stupid lives. Ain't no way you did that, bro. You never give that kind of stuff up. There's a first time for everything, isn't there? Bro, if even Obama gave him up, then what chance do I have? Again, it's not impossible, but it'll be a work of patience. You'll have to come up with a perfect plan and wait till the stars align so that the RNG can be nothing short of flawless. That way, you'll be able to get everything. Nah, it can't actually be like this. Maybe you're missing something? Maybe, or maybe it's like what you said. It's practically not viable, and those items are meant to be lost anyways. Have you asked Ben about it? Maybe he knows something. Nah, I haven't. You're right, though. Knowing Ben, he may actually know some sketchy strat that'll make getting those items feasible. Well, is he around? Maybe we could call him in and give us a hand, because this chapter is indeed whack. Nah, he ain't. I'll send him a DM, though. I'll let you guys know if he responds. I've had an idea, though, guys. What you got? What if I put all cavalry units on the team? That way they'd provide close support to Marcus on his way towards those thieves. Yeah, maybe they'd help clean up the remaining enemies since Marcus can't double those nomads. I don't think they'll make much difference though since the rest of the team is capable of cleaning stragglers as Marcus rams through enemies. Well, I don't know. I think it's worth a shot. I agree. Let's see where this goes. Nah, man, this doesn't look good at all. Indeed, you have several enemies ahead of you, and the first thief has already spawned. I doubt you'll be reaching him in time. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough damage to deal with all these enemies holding my cavaliers back. I don't understand, though. I moved all of them the most I could, and it's still not enough. You ended up diverting too much firepower towards your other cavaliers, and they don't have the same countering capabilities as Marcus. Because of that, your damage output on the enemy phase was too low, and now they're all stacked in front of you. Yeah, perhaps the Cavalier idea did more harm than good? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I guess I'll ditch this failed attempt too. I see no reason to continue it, honestly. Yeah, I think that'd be best. Man, you were not exaggerating when you said this shit was frustrating. Yeah, homie. That's why I gave those stupid items up. I chose my sanity over them. Are they worth it at least? 
I can't say for sure, but I think it was some crest and some crit weapon, if I'm not mistaken. Nah, man, I'm not giving any items away. There's got to be a way of killing them in time. Has Ben replied yet? Nah, he hasn't even seen the DM yet. Yep, I guess you're on your own now, Joey boy. I'm out of ideas. Man, I'm going to try this one more time, having Marcus always move the max amount of tiles, just like Obama said. I honestly don't feel like farming good RNG rolls, though, so I'll just bail if shit goes sideways. Fair enough, homie. All right, let's do this. The final attempt, boys. Off to a strong start already. For fuck's sake, man. Are you actually fucking serious, dude? The game surely doesn't want you to win, man. As if this chapter in and of itself wasn't enough to make me lose. You were absolutely right, Obama. This shit stinks. And that's because you haven't even reached the critical turn yet. Having bad luck like this on the next turn is enough to force a restart. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Keep it up, guys. You're doing well. Did that motherfucking nomad just block me? Bro, that was actually a genius move by the AI. Yeah, that'll put Marcus two tiles behind where he actually should be, and you cannot afford to lose those tiles. That's a restart. Oh, hell no. I'm gonna go with this shit till the end, and I don't give a fuck. You'll see how much these two tiles will matter, but it's up to you, homie. All right, here goes nothing. No way, Marcus. No fucking way. Yep, I guess the game's decided to restart the chapter for you, huh? Nah, bro, I'm getting out of here. This shit's ridiculous. I feel you, man.